Welcome to the TSR. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Done. That was good. A walk off. It feels so like. It just keeps going. Oozing just... confidence, like. Wow. I was flushed. I went down to the Tireless Performance Centre down at Welburn and got early access to the TSR collection. In this video, I hit all the TSR drivers, two, three, and four, and the transformation in this video is mind-blowing. I don't want to speak too much. I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but you need to stay tuned. Let me know what you think of the new TSR collection. What would you go for? Two, three, or four? Let's find out. How many shots am I hitting with this? Just hit a couple. Three, hit three or four, yeah. We'll get we'll get some kind of base base numbers with that one, and we'll work up through. Just hold the white flag. What's your normal shape, though? What's your... At the moment, I've got a draw. At the moment, it used to be a fade, but right now I've got a draw going on. And what, and what what's like the miss? What do you block out right? What do you want out of a driver, Louis? Let's ask you that. Um, forgiveness. Forgiveness? Yeah. Okay. Um, consistency. As in you just, maybe like, as in like just tight dispersion? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tight dispersion for sure. I had the stealth before. It was a powerhouse. Absolute powerhouse, but there's no forgiveness. Right, okay. So when you hit a bad shot, you, you just know straight away it's gone. Yeah. But a good one was a good one. And I don't want that again. <laughs> so something that's like... Be like, will, will you fit me for my free words? Yeah, yeah, so. So like, I know with my free word, it goes back to 260, and it will spin. So if I was going into par fives, it would land. And off the tee, I could play it. That's been my driver for the last two months because I haven't had one. So to have a driver that I could probably get me to about 280-ish. Yeah, it's good. Cannot keep that straight to save my life. No, okay, let's check, change that out. Looks wise, does it look any, obviously it's gonna look a little different from stealth, but how, what are your first? Oh, I think the looks are fantastic. Yeah. I particularly ah. like the classic look. Yeah, I thought that when I picked it up as well. Yeah. That's what I said to you when we got fitted from a freeword, that I love the classic look of the TSI. Yeah. It looks great behind the ball. <laughs> oh, so Nicky. How's it struck? I hit that so far on the neck, I'm surprised I even, even hit the ball. <laughs> Is that Nick? Probably. On that shape, it's got to be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised it even hit the cloth base. That's a good shot. That felt nice. So to, give you, Lou, to give you a bit of background between the two moles that you've hit so far, two and three. So, two has like a, what we call variable face thickness. Okay, mm. so it, it's really forgiving all across the face, so in terms of managing or maintaining like spin rates and ball speed. Whereas the three, uh, this has what we call like a like a speed ring in the in the centre here. So typically, when you when you middle that, you're going to gain a little bit more from it. But potentially, this might be more forgiving. Let's say for a golfer that maybe uses more of the club face. Okay, Makes so sense. To kind of highlight the difference yep. between the two. There. Sound is so explosive. Yeah. You feel the difference I, in the sound. I, I, I thought that, but the I was more off feel. Yeah. It's a good, that was a good shot though. It's got a really nice sound to it. Round pretty good. Yeah, that's why I was you're looking at it from it. <laughs> off a good one though. And then obviously, but with him mentioning that he yeah. wanted forgiveness from that, then you, you kind of instantly, you, you that move felt towards the... Really nice. Yeah. So the other thing is as well, like in terms of, Wow. The, the club heads and where the CG is. Yeah. If his miss is right, so two is going to be more draw bias than, say, three. Yeah. Um, in terms of accommodating his shot shape or managing his miss. Yeah, with, a, with that push almost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was hit good. Again, just that, that push comes into play a bit with. with yeah. It. I mean, when, the good ones are good. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The good ones are. I mean, it feels. A flush. Really, really good. This one. Yeah. 
Good hit, you can definitely co it co came off a little bit lower that one. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So again, like the front four, GSR four being that lower launching, lower spinning model as well. So that's perfectly. It's, no, it's a noticeable difference, and especially because it's a bit yeah. windy today, you can, you, it's a noticeable difference in the wind as well. What I find. Mm -hmm. One, that's why we're. <laughs> it's a good thing we can do it outdoors. Oh, that's so nicky. That, that's, that's a good one to kind of highlight the differences between, say, the previous two models versus that one there. Louis, you can see your, your, your difference of the drop off in ball speed and the forgiveness yeah. of that versus, say, the previous two, where you're going to get, like I said, in the two, primarily you're going to get more forgiveness and sort of maintain ball yeah. speeds and spin rates, etc. That almost, even though that was the worst swing of the day so far, that felt like myself. In, a, okay. in the sense of like no forgiveness. Yeah. Right, right. I know it's a bad swing and I deserve yeah. that shot, but no, no, no. you know. <laughs> you want to try? You want, you want to try and make it as forgiveness as possible. Make the game as easy as possible, man. Yeah. No. Let's grab that one. Yeah. That's not so, for me. Let's take that one off <laughs> straight away. <laughs> jump, jump over here, Louis. Let, let's just kind of highlight a couple of these numbers for you. So four, we saw some. Yeah, okay, 161, it was good when it was good, but then you achieve those ball speeds in two and three, and so you've got more dispersion, at least forgiving. Um, you can see in your dispersion there, it's going to be slightly wider. Um, two versus three, so if you, first of all, let's say, or we compare club head speed, so for a slightly down on club head speed versus three, you've actually got similar ball speed, 159.1, 159.4, Spin rates, as we talked about earlier, in that club head design, it's really tight. Mm. Okay, so for your spin rates, 2.4, really good. If you look at your total carry, 2.57. When you look at the three, so you've got uh, slightly higher spin rate, so again, could just be a couple down to where it potentially struck in the club face um, or delivery, but we're down on carry and Must we're down be, on yeah. total. So, I mean, Kind of you tell me, but uh, for me, yeah, that kind of tells enough yeah. of the story. Yeah, my thought would be just kind of, kind of go with obviously numbers don't lie, so we need to kind of follow follow them. I think we'll go back to two and start tweaking and playing around with that. You, your bad misses off to the right, like mm -hmm. like we we're saying, is is a touch maybe a touch more bias draw a bit, a bit more draw bias. Sorry, so if it's going to square it up slightly quicker, maybe. So your bad one's not going to be as bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'd, I'd go back, go back there, and let's maybe hit another couple just to get a bit more of a okay. feel. Because that was the first one we yep. tried. So after testing the TSR four, the TSR three, and the TSR two, we got the base numbers as you see in the video. And I can't lie, I was disappointed. At this stage, I was a little bit right and I was a little bit nervous because the numbers are low. And I was yet to hit a good shot. I was yet to find the middle of the club face find the sweet spot and actually get a good drive out. But this is why it's so important to get fitted, especially at a fitting center that knows you well. And Connor and Nick, the head professional at Titleist and Clubhouse Golf, did an amazing job to not just find the driver that was right for me, but the spec. And that's what you're about to see. Yeah, that doesn't necessarily concern me so much. No, like, no I mean, it that number there that doesn't that doesn't concern me like i'm thinking let's just make it closer to 10 for a bit. yeah it's also going to close the club face let's so see if we can't just tweak that or do you go nine nine oh yeah yeah B, C, D. Uh, that makes a lot of sense wow that was absolutely flushed you could tell the sound from that it was so good with your ball speed yeah it's a huge in, instant jump of two two, two, two three mile an hour Really, really big. I think your reaction's... <laughs> yeah. I think that's the best driver hit all year. Yeah, it was slush. Did uh, <coughs> everyone record that or is no one recording that one? <laughs> <laughs> everyone got the shanks but no one got that one. <laughs> so yeah, even so, like from, you know we were talking last time about like consistency and a bit of like maybe... Mate, that felt pure. so good. Yeah, well it's, it, it's actually sitting closer to 10 than it is 9. That last one there. So let's just kind of remind ourselves of the, sort of the journey that we've been on. So we started just going through the model, same loft, same shaft, from 159 ball speed. That was kind of the benchmark where we set to the point where we went to the TSR 4 and we found that, yeah, it was good. When it was good, it was really good, but then there wasn't a consistency. Now in that setup, in that TSR 2, in the little adjustment to the hosel, 
you're averaging almost 162 mile an hour ball speed. Mm. So when you look at your spin rates, really consistent, 2623 plus or minus 178 RPM, which is next to nothing. Your carry numbers are now at 265 and your total 291. Like that's a significant it's a huge dip. improvement. Massive, yeah. But huge. not only that, from like a dispersion point of view, that's <laughs> you're in the ferry every single time. That. Wow. So it it happens to be longer and straighter. Mm. Wonder if we do loft it a little bit. Yeah, um, we can, can we can put it back to nine definitely. Yeah. Only because I've been so used to hitting a lower <laughs> lofted so, club. This is, I had this issue yeah. when I, when I, so it was just the my fit in and I, I use loft as a crutch yeah. and, and I've played 10 degrees for years. So I've just been fitted into a, not an eight degree head right. and it, it just, it just works. Right, I'm just going to get another. At this point, I knew I could deliver more. I was feeling so good over the ball. I saw an increase in ball speed, an increase in distance. Everyone around me, I could see the smiles. <laughs> I, I can't express to you how, what I was feeling in that moment. But typical club face fashion, I think I know best. So I suggest to down the loft, decrease the loft, put me down to like nine degrees. Because in my head, the lower the loft, the lower the launch, the more distance I can produce. But you're about to find out why professionals are professionals and why you shouldn't listen to me. Let's roll it. I hope everyone got that on camera. <laughs> oh my Just god. Yeah. <laughs> Fitting's going well. Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag top. That'd be a good shot tracer to do. Shot tracer just across the floor. Something I think like I have that. to use that one. If anything, that was going to be like roofed. <laughs> just tee it really, really high. But again, solid. You see how it's still coming up high though? Because I hit so far up on it. Yeah, but have a look at this then quickly so you've just hit the the first one's irrelevant but sure look at that one so you're looking at three three one nine five three one five nine sorry as a spin number whereas it's spinning more. so it's spinning more so it's not going to go as far it needs to be a, that's interesting in a way loft for you is like for my friends basically yeah it's not it's not it's not good for you like in in that it's too low because it's going to spin just a touch from a delivery point of view so the professionals were right. Funny that, right? But here is where it gets juicy and you need to carry on watching. So what we did is we went back to the old spec and I was striping this club. D, just just watch. I'm not gonna ruin it. You can noticeably tell a difference. Noticeably. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Whereas like a higher loft. It just doesn't feel right. It's just yeah, it just just seems to work better for you. It just doesn't feel, it just doesn't feel like how it did. You can tell straight away, Louis. Mate, straight away. Do you know what I mean? And I didn't even hit that good. That, that's a miss. Is that a bit off the bottom? It's way off the bottom. Yeah. That's a miss. That's good. But that, if that's your miss, you like... Oh, that that's what I want. If I had that miss with my old driver... So that was the average one you hit with the last setup? Was that actually? Yeah. And I flushed the other two? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> straight away. They, they'll be right next to each other. Just crazy. <laughs> wow. Wow. They go from there, isn't it? The Big difference in fitting makes is actually Massive from, from when <laughs> you can go that. Or I'll probably try that because it's going to be a little bit softer. Do you think? Yeah. That was so oh, that's a that joke. Was, that was flushed. <laughs> I'm in love. That's the fastest yet, Louis. 163. I feel, I feel like I'm warming up now. No, just warming up. You're just playing a 280 for 303. That's Brilliant. Let me have one more of this. I'm feeling myself with this club right now. This feels like a glove. <laughs> it's just just doing what it needs to do for you, isn't it? And look, it hasn't come down yet. There you go. It's flush. Those last three have been like outstanding. Yeah. You can tell you went for the last one. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually like, for the first <laughs> time I feel like I can actually swing a ball. And it's not going to like top or it's not going to shank or I'm not actually right about. It's mustard, isn't it? Yeah, it's so good. I think you obviously. Yeah. Oh, that was good. A walk off. 
it feels so like it just keeps going oozing so. confidence like wow i was flushed yeah really really <laughs> ball speed at 166. No, no i feel like i want to do that's an impressive story that yeah. what go from tank. one he's, he's just i mean he just gained like <laughs> Here is data from. <laughs> Mate, you, I feel like you can do whatever you want with that. Oh gun. my god, this thing, it feels so nice. <laughs> Show me. What was that last one there? 67. <laughs> 275 on the fly. Yeah, confidence yeah, yeah. goes up and sort of trust in it. Oh, I have full trust in this at the moment. So do you, do you want to really hit one hard now then? What, go for this one? Yeah. Alright, let's try it. Because I'd feel, I'd feel like usually if I wasn't going for one, I'm right. Right. I'll probably be in, what, what's that? Marquis. <laughs> Maybe you should just really go for them all the time. It's a driver, mate. It's not me. <laughs> it's definitely not me. Look at that, man. Yeah, really good shot, mate. I mean, and from a high loft as well. Now is your average now with that driving setup, your total is 295. And that's, that's like plenty for me. Plenty. Got one, the 260 for my free words. Yeah. 290 for my driver. There you go, you've come in asking for 280 and giving you 290. <laughs> give me 290 and you give me the confidence, this thing feels like a beast. I hope you guys are enjoying this video because I know that I am. But at this point, I was made up with the driver. I thought, it's done. I am complete, I am walking home, not today with the driver, but hopefully soon, not yet. Want me to try a different shaft. They want me to go through all the ropes to actually find the perfect build for me. So what you're about to see in this section is that I try out the brand new Tor AD DI UB shaft. It's a blue shaft and it is a thing of beauty. This shaft looks great. Might not be for me, might be for me. Let's see. I think at the end of the fit we might settle on the orange one, but I think we'll have to try the blue one. <laughs> Let's try the blue one. I didn't try the blue one. But again... What we, we mean, we were chatting about earlier on, is matching the feels up, you know, kind of three wood wise as well. I am a blue type of guy. <laughs> Apart from the red you're wearing. Yeah, yeah forget that. Forget that. We changed <laughs> it, we, we get colours to get a blue one. Man <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what I wanted. I wanted more forgiveness. Yeah. That was my key here, was to find something that, I wanted to be longer than my driver. So like, no, not driver, my free words. So my free words 260. Mm. So like I said to you, 280. Yeah. It'd be perfect, like that's, but so I can hit fairways on, you know? Which, um, my, my last build, I couldn't find fairways, right. but I could launch it if I could launch it. Yeah, so a bit more playable. Yeah, I want to be able to use the driver on the course. Yeah. At the moment, I'm just not. I thought that, I thought that one would be mega. Yeah, I knew, knew for a fact that one would be so good. It's, it's easier. I feel like yeah, it come just comes back a touch more. Jump. There you go, that's, a, that's the longest drive you've hit today. How far? 305. <laughs> so basically we went wrong. The first <laughs> one in that and the UBB gave you 6X, so same as UDI, but now we just went to the 6S, so a little bit softer. You see that one there, just, it was, looked like just it was so you can turn it over. Turn. It back. felt nice. It didn't feel like I was swinging a cricket bat. No, good. <laughs> if anything, that slightly softer has made him swing it half a mile an hour quicker. Yeah. A touch more ball speed. Those ones look like it was, yeah, a little bit. Look, you ha had to hit them hard yeah, yeah. to get anything what, out what of it. What a difference from the start, though. I mean, I was hitting the first five or six balls and I was thinking, oh, shit. Like. <laughs> but I think that's a good thing. Like You, you said it last time when, when we did, did the free wood, is came in wanting a stealth and yeah. left with a tight list. <laughs> Better path figures than me. Shot, really shot. See, that one looks easier for you to swing. It feels easier to swing. Yeah. Again, you've got that slight back. Yeah, that nice mm. penetrating but high. Yeah. Like, uh... I'm a little bit in between the orange shaft and this one. Yeah. I feel like this is easier to swing. Yeah, okay. But I felt the orange was powerful. Right, okay. I feel like this is more consistent. Go one more with that. 
Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, that's on your key. But if you... Mm. I'm surprised that even stays straight. It was like 12, 2, 3, the other one. Like, some of the best ones there, like 12 launch, 2, 3 spin, it was just... Uh, I'm going to try and hit a straight bomb, I'm not going to try and draw it. I'm just going to try and go straight for that white target. Let's see. Get some confidence over it. Great shot. Yeah, that feels, it just, it's an instant feeling. I don't know why. Yeah. I, I don't know why I it think, just feels. I think that, yeah, that, that there says. That's to step over the ball and to everything. be like, yeah, I just want to hit straight over that white flag. I haven't been able to do that in ages. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't pay me to do that on the golf course. Like, it, it kind of almost has to just go right and uh, to a degree just end there because if it feels, looks and performs then. So it's still holding spin though, isn't it? It's not going to like yeah, yeah. roll out for like days. You need, you need a certain amount of spin to keep you in the fairway. So we yeah. talked at the beginning about tightening your dispersion. Because my stealth was like below two. Yeah. Which is not playable. Well, you'd have to just, you'd, you'd probably have to be, you know, 10 out of 10 with that to get it to, to, oh, to work. Oh, I'm not 10 out of 10. <laughs> I've never been a 10 out of 10. Even that one's like just mega. <coughs> really good. Yeah, mm. I'm, I'm sold. Ball speed's so consistent as well. Happy? Over the moon. <laughs> Very good. Over the moon. Wow. Quite mind blown, if I'm being honest with you. We've gained five mile an hour in ball speed there. That's ridiculous. And also, in just, yeah, a tighter dispersion. If that doesn't prove how important custom fittings are, I don't know what does. I mean, I thought my wedges showed it, yeah. and I thought, I thought my free woods showed it. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, Nick. That's right. Thank you, Connor, as well, mate. Wow. So I'm gonna give you that back before it goes. <laughs> it goes in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. What a fitting, what a video. You got to see the good, the bad, the ugly. Obviously we started off so low. You can see how right I was at the start and at the end I was absolutely made up with the build. I was over the moon. I can't express to you how important it is to get a fitting, especially if you're gonna spend a lot of money on a driver. These drivers aren't cheap. So get yourself fitted for them. It is worth every single penny. A big, big thank you to Titleist for obviously having me down at Welburn. A massive thank you to Clubhouse Golf for sourcing the clubs for me, letting me do a review, the fitting, everything. And finally, the biggest thank you to you guys. Because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to have opportunities like this. So I appreciate each and every one of you. I know I say it quite often, but I really do mean it. Thank you. Your subscribing, your likes, your comments, everything that you do for me in the videos, it means the world. So if you haven't, I'd really appreciate it if you did like, you did comment, and you did subscribe. If you hit that bell notification, you will be informed when I next upload. And hopefully, it'll be next week. Until next video, guys. TSR. What's next? <laughs>